Okay, here I'm asked to solve the inequality. 8 times open absolute value, x minus 1 7th closed absolute value, plus 1 is less than or equal to 5. Okay, the first thing I need to do is isolate this absolute value. So I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides, minus 1. And I have 8 times open absolute value, x minus 1 7th closed absolute value is less than or equal to 4. Okay, now I just need to divide through both sides by 8. And I have open absolute value x minus 1 7th. Closed absolute value is less than or equal to 4 over 8. Well, 4 will divide into 4, and 4 will divide into 8. So this is 4 divided by 4 is 1. 8 divided by 4 is 2, so this is 1 half. And of course, 4 is half of 8, so 4 over 8 is 1 half. So now I have the absolute value isolated. I can write my two inequalities. It's absolute open absolute value, x minus 1 7th closed absolute value is less than 1 half. Now remember our mnemonic for less than is and. So this is x minus 1 7th is less than or equal to 1 half and x minus 1 7th is greater than or equal to negative 1 half. Again, on the second inequality, I flip the inequality symbol and I change the sign of this number to a negative. Okay, I've got to eliminate the fractions. I have a seven and I have a two. The smallest number that seven will divide, seven will divide into and two will divide into is 14. So I'm going to multiply each term by 14. Times 14. Distributing. 14 times x is simply 14x. 14 times 1 7th is 14 divided by 7, so this becomes minus 2, is less than or equal to 14 times 1 half is 14 divided by 2, so 7. Now I add 2 to both sides, and I have 14x is less than or equal to 9. Divide both sides by 14, and I have that x is less than or equal to 9 over 14. Now, there isn't two numbers that will divide into 9 and 14 other than 1, negative 1, and such. And that won't really change this fraction. But I do know that 9 over 14 is less than 1. Um, I also know that uh, 9 is more than half of 14, so this is a little bit more than a half. And that just gives me some relative position. Um, so here I'm going to eliminate the fractions again, multiply through everything by 14. And I have 14x minus 2 is greater than or equal to this time negative 7 because I have negative 1 half times positive 14, which is just 14 divided by negative 2. Add 2 to both sides. I have 14x is greater than or equal to uh, negative 5 because I added 2 to both sides here. So negative 7 plus 2 is negative 5. Divide both sides by 14, and I have that x is greater than or equal to negative 5 over 14. So this is negative um, 5 fourteenths. All right, now there, there's an and here. Let's go ahead and look at the graph. So graph. Right here is 0. I have 9 fourteenths. So let's say 9 fourteenths is right here. 9 over 14. Now if this is 9 over 14, then 5 over 14 cannot be, can have the same distance as 9 over 14. It's got to be a little less, and it's going to be to the left because it's negative. So we'll just put it, and I'll put it right here. Negative 5 over 14. So let's look at the 9 over 14. It's got the bar underneath, so that means it's a closed dot. Because it means x can actually be 9 over 14, so we close this dot. Now the number's less than 9 over 14 are to the left. They're here. And now for this one, we have x is greater than or equal to negative 5 over 14. Again, close dot because it can actually be negative 5 over 14. And the numbers greater than that are to the right. So this is going to connect in a bar. All right, so now I need to get my set builder notation. Open curly brace x such that, and let's just go right along the graph here. Notice that there's a bar in between, so I know I'm going to write my x in between here. I'm not going to write the, this and. So start with the, the lowest number, negative 5 over 14. 
So always start with the lowest number, and then it's less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 9 over 14. And essentially what this is saying is that x is between negative 5 over 14 and, it's, and 9 over 14, and also it can be negative 5 over 14 and 9 over 14. So this x is in the middle. Um, that's what this set builder is saying. Now the verbal for this. The verbal for this is quite long, as you can imagine. So it's um, x is less than less than or equal to nine, uh, 9 over 14 and that and came from here x is greater than or equal to negative 5 over 14. Okay, there's your three different representations of the solution.